Good evening. Hundreds of protesters marched in Swindon today, calling on Honda to reverse plans to close the town's plant in 2021. Workers were joined by community leaders and politicians to defend what they call a world-class plant with a loyal and dedicated workforce. Lee Madden was there. The centre of Swindon brought to a standstill. This a show of civic unity for the workers who make the Honda Civic. More than 600 people here demanding Honda bosses reverse their plans and keep the factory open. Think again, Honda is a very important industry for the town. Swindon needs it. Very difficult for such a job. Yeah. What's your message to the Honda bosses if they're watching? The, save the job, no. The factory employs three and a half thousand people. It's thought 12,000 more rely on it for work. Because we're, main, we're mainly Honda, um, deal with Honda, we're going to lose our jobs. People travelled from across the continent to be here. The rest of Europe is uh, supporting the fight. First of all, because the people here in Swindon are very unfairly treated by uh, the management. It is the backbone of Honda in Europe for the last 30 years. So we are pretty sure that there is a, will be a domino effect on the rest of Europe. Now this is one march the British government welcomes. Today the government's issued a message of support to the hundreds marching here today. They say they're determined to work with them to convince Honda to reverse this decision. The Union Unite organised today's march. They think there's still a chance bosses could listen. I'm a great optimist. I believe that we can put forward very viable plans. This is a plant that has made huge profits for the company for many, many years. Honda says they realise this is an unsettling time and it will continue consulting with workers. Lee Madden, BBC Points West, Swindon.